resident of St. Croix County, has been married to her husband Lee for the last 16 years. They have a 14 year old daughter, uh, Chloe. You can find Missy all over the community. She cur currently works at Jay Edison and Seven Gates Recording Studio. She's a realtor for the team Howard Keller Williams and uh, co-owns the blog We've Tried It. Uh, when I spoke to Missy about being our spokesperson for the drug, St. Croix County Drug Coalition Suicide Prevention Task Force, I mean, she was giddy. So I was, she really wanted to join in and be involved in something that was important, important and thoughtful and meaningful. So um, she said for about the last decade, she's been trying to figure out how to help the kids in St. Croix County and just wasn't sure how to go about it. And now she's uh, collaborating with us. So without further ado, here is Missy Jermaine. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. It's an honor and what Patty didn't mention is that my name is Missy Jermaine and I'm an alcoholic. I'm lucky because my friends and family helped me get through this and in September, I'm sorry, January 28th, 2006, I entered into the 28 day program at Hazelton Betty Ford. I'm happy to say that I've been sober for nine years. I know depression, the feeling of hopelessness. I've had suicidal thoughts and struggled with addiction for many, many years. I spent a good part of 20 years searching and searching for anything to make me happy. Without getting into much of my story of the destruction and the selfishness that comes along with addiction, I can tell you that sobriety does me good. You've heard the saying, everything happens for a reason. There have been times that I doubt that, but for me, I have to believe that it's true. Two weeks after I came home from treatment, my husband became ill, and I didn't know if he was gonna live for a couple years. So with being sober, I was able to take care of my family, and still do. I started smoking and drinking at a very young age. I moved out of um, the house directly out of high school. I think a day or two after. I had a great time. It was a lot of fun until I was alone. Being an addict and being alone in your mind is a very hard thing to do. It's interesting after being sober for nine years, which by the way, I wear like a badge of honor. The day I got out of treatment, I got up to the car and I couldn't tell enough people that I was sober. So each year on my anniversary, I post on my Facebook page how many years I'm sober. And I actually have a tattoo on my arm that says, we played a dangerous game and I won. And I actually haven't gotten my nine year tally yet, but I will. So when I post it on there, I get a lot of congrats and this and that, but every year I seem to get one comment that strikes me a little bit off. And this year it was um, that, the woman said she would have never guessed that I would had an addiction problem. I was always put together and looked so happy when I was out. And I was really upset about it. And it kind of like she was doubting my addiction. But then I thought about it and thought, she's right. I was. I was always put together. I was always happy because I was exactly where I wanted to be, at the bar, drinking. So. I receive many messages from people that are struggling, whether it's with drugs or alcohol, depression, whatever it is. And I'm very careful about what kind of advice I give to people because I'm not a doctor. I'm not anybody that can give that kind of advice. But what I can tell you is the, message that, the messages that I get are, I'm not sure if I have a problem. If you're reaching out to somebody and you're not sure, it means you have a problem. If you're second guessing if what you're doing is right or wrong, it's wrong. So um, I, this, here's another thing that I think is really important for somebody like myself who's an alcoholic. It took me a long time to be able to go back to bars and restaurants and be out with everybody. 
because in reality I was having a pity party for myself because what do sober people do? I didn't know sober. I had been doing this for many, many years. So when I finally started going back to bars and restaurants, I had people come up to me and say, if you're an alcoholic, you must think I am too. And in reality, I'm not thinking anybody's an alcoholic. This wasn't about them. This was about me. I couldn't handle my day-to-day -day life. I was no longer a good wife, no longer a good mother, an employee, or friend. So it's not about you. It's about me or whoever has an addiction problem. And I'm sorry, I don't want to be, a, this is the first time that I've talked about this out loud. So bear with me. So at a young age, I've always known that I was going to do something really big. I remember being little thinking about it. And it was never about fame or fortune. It was always about helping people something big, and I don't know what it is, but I want to make a change. I want to listen, I want to love, I want to guide. And I don't know if I've done it yet, or if it's still to come, but what I do know is I will keep trying to find it until the end. Over the last nine years, I've gone back to the 14-year-old me and thought long and hard about helping other children or teenagers who are in need of guidance. When Patty asked me to be the spokesperson for the St. Croix County Drug Coalition and Suicide Prevention Task Force, um, there was no hesitation. It was more of, when do we start? What can we do? I am really honored and excited to be a part of this and will do anything I can for anybody in the community. Um, so, Patty talked a little bit about this guide and I have spent some time, I, I, was a little nervous when you were speaking, and I don't know if you said that you're the medical examiner for St. Croix County. So if you make it to her office, that means your loved one has passed away. So I have sat in her office for hours and listened to her give me statistic after statistic. I grew up in Hudson, and this is shocking to me. And I also grew up experimenting with drugs, drinking, smoking at a young age. But listening to you, I mean, I can say it was a different time. It's just different stuff, and it's the same thing. So I think this resource guide is really important, and it's going to take a lot of money to put this out there, and I will help raise the money. So in an effort to help raise money, I started right away and had a pizza fundraiser. Can you want to stand, Rich? My good friend, Rich Raley. Oh, this is Raley's Pizza, and uh, so we sold some pizzas, and between us and the community, I'm happy to say that we gave Patty a check tonight for $1,000 to go towards 